my fellow movie lovers. So today's review is of Colette. And Colette is a young woman, um, is set in the late 19th century, um, who's pushed to become a writer and to write novels by her husband, who takes full credit. And the story follows her journey to try to find her voice and also regain credit um, and notoriety of the books that she has written. Right, let's get straight into it. We start with the bad, because this film, the first 40 minutes are as boring as <laughs> I mean, my time would have been better suited watching Waterboil. I get it, this film is based on true events, true story, and it's, it focuses on Colette and her, and her marriage to Willie. But Jesus Christ, this film is depressing. The love story doesn't ignite anything, um, it's a pairing of convenience and so it's just flat, the emotions for me are just flat throughout the whole film. It didn't help with, most of you probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of Kira Knightley, she just grates on me a little bit the wrong way, as if I had to see her in another bloody period drama, I swear to god. <laughs> And on to the little good that there was in this film. Um, fast forward an hour and ten minutes and it starts to get interesting. Just a little bit. Willie, the husband, plays a great, terrible husband. I mean, his line, his get out of jail free line is, I'm just a man, this is what men do. Like, well, get out of here with that nonsense. Um, but it's kind of reminiscent of Christopher Waltz in Big Eyes and there's a common thread of just like these terrible people, terrible men, just taking full credit for um, their wives because obviously women can't possibly um, sell their own work. So if you have an hour and 45 minutes to flush down the toilet then by all means knock yourself out. Therefore Colette gets a Rachel R&R rating of 3 out of 10 um, because for me I feel it like the passion a story like this needs however let me know if you're inspired by Colette as always merci 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 au revoir